Hey Blender fans, here's a new video about the latest features and bug fixes for Blender 2.8. The first thing that I want to mention is the mysterious triangulated default cube. Is it a feature? Well, as far as I heard from different sources now, it is just a commit by accident and no feature, so I'm quite sure it will be replaced with the quartz cube again. To get rid of it, just select all in edit mode and press Alt and J to turn tries to quartz. Then you go to file and save the startup file and the next time you create a new project, the default cube with quartz is used again. Ok, the next thing is the change behavior of the A shortcut, which has led to some discussions and a bit shocked reactions, because now you can't press A to deselect all, you have to use Alt and A. But good news, deselect all can now be done with a double tap of the A key as well. You can't see this here in the shortcut preview, but I just double tap the A key to deselect. Alright, one of my subscribers asked me why the parent-child relationship of the objects is not shown anymore in the outliner. So we'll add here another object to test the behavior. I drag the new sphere to the collection one, this works, and after that I select the cube as well and press Ctrl and P to define the cube as the parent of the sphere. This works pretty nice in the 3D view, you can see this when I press the G key to move the cube, but it is not displayed in the outliner. But when I open the filter in the outliner, where you can define which types of objects you want to display and disable the collections, the parent-child relationship of the objects is displayed again. That's how it is at the moment, I guess and hope that these relationships will be displayed in future versions for objects inside of collections as well. Ok, next one is the display of shortcut keys for tools. I add a shortcut here to the transform tool, like Ctrl, Shift, Alt and T, and here you can see that this shortcut is displayed in the right area of the tool. Very nice. So I press this shortcut now to see if the transform is activated and this works as expected, then I remove it again and the display in the tool is also removed. What else do we have? When I choose the circle selection tool, the radius can be defined in the top bar. You can change it here and when you hold the left mouse button down, the circle is displayed with the new radius. Well, that's not bad, but to be honest, I really would like to see the selection circle all the time when I selected the tool and I expect that scrolling the mouse wheel will change the radius. I think it should be the same behavior as when you press the C key on your keyboard to activate the circle selection. This one, to show or hide objects of a certain type, is not new, but I haven't mentioned it yet. So let's add some cameras, meshes and lights to have different types of objects in your scene. Ok, then you can open this drop down and hide different types of objects. For instance lights, cameras or meshes. What you can also do in this dropdown is to enable or disable the possibility to select types of objects. Now it is not possible, for example, to select meshes. This feature can be quite useful for modeling or when you arrange objects in your scene and don't want to select certain types of objects by accident. Alright, the bisect tool is also not a new feature, but it is added now in Blender 2.8 to a tools group together with the knife tool. What is added is if you bisect a selected part of the geometry, a widget appears with that you can adjust the rotation or position of the cut. After the cut I enable fill and clear outer and now I use the widget to modify the resulting face. It's really cool as you get used to it. To cut again, select the mesh and draw a new line. The only thing that's a bit annoying is that you have to set the tool setting like fill or outer select again, but perhaps this will be optimized in a future version. I really like the bisect tool, it can be quite useful when you create stylized low poly stones for example. 
Okay, last but not least, I was asked how I find out which Python functions are still available in Blender 2.8 in certain modules. One way to do this is to open a Python console, import the module and then use the autocomplete feature to see the functions. This is not a Blender 2.8 feature, but I wanted to show this to answer the question. Alright guys, that's it again for the latest Blender 2.8 features and updates. I really hope you like this video and my channel. If you do, don't forget to subscribe to be notified when the next one is online. I say thanks for watching, thanks for your support. If you consider supporting me on my Patreon, this would be really cool. And I'll see you on JNM.